with Raymond De Bruyne at Hookline and Sinker in Belito, back in the fishing industry and it's awesome news. Raymond, how does it feel? It feels good. Nice to be back in something I love and uh, have uh, basically set my roots in. Um, yeah, so come through to the, the Hookline and Sinker store in Belito and come uh, look me up and you know, let's have a chat about fishing. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot of education coming through these doors, knowing Raymond and where he comes from. And uh, it's been your area for 13 years. This is just, I mean, Belito, yeah. you know it inside out, so who better Absolutely. to ask? Yeah. And on that note, I'm going to ask Raymond to just run you guys through. If you come down to Belito or this area, his idea of what he would kit up and what species to expect. So uh, the Belito area is very special to me. I've been here quite some time, as Andre said, 13 years. Uh, got to know the coastline quite well and personally uh, probably getting a bit old now for the big stuff and catching big sharks and whatnot so my choice uh, these days is to go with a spinning tackle targeting the snook, uh, garrick, uh, even through, through December the cooter, kingfish and there's numerous species you can target on, on spoons and uh, what better to do that with a, with a Dawa BG series of rods um, this is the 10 foot 6, there's this an 11 foot option in both the heavy and the extra heavy. Um, the extra heavy is able to cost a 65 to 130 gram um, plug or spoon. It's a three piece rod, which makes it really nice and easy to transport. So it breaks down nicely into three pieces. Um, yeah, so that's my rod of choice at the moment. And that's what I've been fishing with lately. It's a really value for money, number one, and fantastic quality. The reel I'd match that up with would be the, the BG uh, 4000. Once again, BG, black gold, as you can see, it's black and gold. Um, it's a seven ball bearing reel, so it's basically got ball bearings in every part of it, in all the working parts. An oversized handle, which makes it nice and comfortable when you're fishing for long periods of time or spinning. Um, it's got the digi gear, which basically means that it's very, very smooth. So while you're winding the spoon, you're directly in touch with that spoon or plug. And yeah, so that's, that's a fantastic reel. And then on top, on that reel, I, I'd fit that with the J braid, probably the 20 pound. That's the 20 pound J braid. Uh, it's made in Japan, so it's a very, very, very high quality uh, braid, eight strand braid. And it comes in two colors. It comes in the green or in a chartreuse. My personal preference on that would be the chartreuse, obviously for visibility in the water. And then there's a few other little steps and tricks that I'd, that I'd, uh, that I'd use. Right, so I chatted a lot, a lot about the spinning capabilities of the rod, plugs and spoons. But uh, what's nice with that, and sometimes when I get the urge to get my hands smelly, a couple of pink prawns, uh, red prawns, some chocker, and uh, you've got a lovely outfit to go scratch for. The bronze bream, even the, the brush that live around here, it's more than capable of handling any of those fish. Um, yeah, so great fun. Um, like I said, get in, come and visit me. Let's talk fishing. Let's talk fishing.